Good evening. Why does it look so yellow? Like, okay. I feel like it's probably really terrible, but... Oh, this is the current setup that you are on right now. Wow, so professional. Also, oh my god, look, she said rich. She said gold. She said new chest of drawers. Ooh, look, star of the show. Ooh, sorry, did I give away too much? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my ch- Why are my backgrounds- I'm literally my underwear. Why are my backgrounds always such a mess? I've literally- well I say I've just got back from the gym, I've had a bath, I'm not that disgusting. Today I thought I would do a video testing Pretty Little- oh that's fun, it's called Pretty Little Tan. Very on brand. You guys know I work with Pretty Little Thing a lot, however this video is not- that rhymed. Poet didn't even know it. However this video is not sponsored by PLT, I saw this tan on their website, it is super cheap, super affordable, I'm not gonna lie I can't think of the price off the top of my head but I'll put it here. Wow, only eight pounds. That's amazing. I wanted to test it out for you guys because I thought it's so practical, it's so ideal. You can get your night out outfit as well as your tan in like one order. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit skeptical. I'd like to think I'm quite knowledgeable with fake tan. I mean, look at me, the Irish jeans are um, <laughs> really pulling through. This like nude white bikini basically blends in and that's a problem. I got it in the dark shade because if you order medium tan you're actually a psychopath. I'm pretty sure you're only allowed British residency once you order a bottle of Samaritz. I'm using my Loving Tan Mitt. I would honestly really invest in one of these like velvety mitts. They make a world of difference. What's that smell like? Okay, it kind of smells like nail polish remover. Not off to the best start. I am feeling more than ready to say goodbye to this pasty complexion. You know it's a problem when not even your palest foundation fits you anymore. When I tan, like naturally, I go like a quite orangey tone. So I think orangey fake tans just kind of suit me best. This one is giving eau de Shrek complexion. So I'm using this filter because obviously I'm recording this bit like whilst editing the video so I've already filmed the video and I don't want to give away what occurred on my face or the colour of my skin. Anyway, no one gets Editing is back. It literally just triggered a memory. This one time I met this like group of viewers in Paris and I spoke about it in my Paris vlog. So if you've seen that vlog, you'll know what I mean. And they were quite rude. And then I spoke about it in my vlog and then they found the video. Love that for me. And they commented loads of shit on the video. And one of them said I looked like Princess Fiona. And I think about that a lot because they're actually not wrong. I kind of do look like Princess Fiona, but Princess Fiona was actually like kind of low key, high key a baddie. Like she was so thick. Yeah, I just thought I'd put that in here. <laughs> in a viewfinder and people say youtubers have no talent <laughs> right off the bat i'm noticing that it's taking quite a bit of blending and it's pretty green in color but don't be thrown off by that because it usually means it's like olive tone which is what most people prefer oh shit mm -hmm. Get in between your fingers because you know you really want people to think that you've gone to Ibiza overnight and it's not fake. <laughs> wow, I bet your dad's never pulled that joke before. Oh my god, I actually just found the longest mole hair on my arm. Do I show you? Is that like a level of comfort I have with you guys? Or am I gonna go down a hundred thousand subscribers after you will see this? Oh my god, I just can't not show you this. Do you see the hair growing out of that mole? How do I have a boyfriend? Right, so this is something I actually never usually do. I do tan my face, but I have like special drops that I mix in with my moisturizer. But I know a lot of people do like to tan their face. Before I had those drops, I would like never ever tan my face because I'd always be scared it would break me out. But for the sole purpose of this video and the people who do... It's happening. Or I can literally... Feel it fizzling. Ooh, oh no, regrets, regrets. Oh, and you folk tan your face as well. It just makes your skin look 20 times worse. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get right in there, Bindi. <coughs> Ooh, that's gross. Definitely gonna have ginger eyebrows tomorrow. Oh, that actually terrified me. Content, baby. 
content. Any skincare people watching this right now will be shaking. I'm probably breeding a whole new disease in itself right now. Coronavirus part two incoming. Fake tan really brings out the insecurities you didn't know you had. At least my teeth look white. Ow. Right, so, oh my god. I literally just cannot get over how bad this is making my skin look. I thought my skin was quite good. Apparently not. So you guys get the gist. I'm just gonna go off camera now and like tan the rest of my body, like my stomach, my legs. I'm definitely not one of those girls who like only tans the bits you can see. I'm going all out, okay? It's all or nothing. Go big, go home. And I mean, we're all in self-quarantine anyway. What are we gonna spend the rest of our time doing? <laughs> I just got my fake tan mitt on the carpet. I'm probably gonna have some fatty stain now. Okay, right, I'm gonna shut up and go tan off camera. Look at that color difference though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bikini zero poly as well, in case you wanted to know. It's kind of cute. Look at the back. Okay, I've got the attention span of like a toddler. See you in the morning. Okay, bye. Bye. Peace out, girl scouts. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs>do not ever say i'm not authentic with you guys i'm literally coming to you looking like a baked potato the time is currently 8 53 and i'm up because i need to take a call from the asthma nurse fellow asthmatics unite so first impressions of the tan is I mean, my body is a really nice colour, it's really nice and even. My skin feels so unbelievably dry. And as you can see, it's not a good too funky. I literally look like I've dipped my face in dirt. It's like giving me dry patches I kind of didn't even know I had. Obviously, I need to rinse it off. So, I will get back to you once I've had a bath and got the top layer off. <laughs> Say hi to my video. No, I look like bronzed. Bronzed and in charge. Beefer, 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 beefer. Ah, oh, here it is. With all this self quarantining, this is the best time I'm gonna get. Oh, yeah! So, I am fresh out of the bath. I've literally just scrubbed my skin within an inch of a life. Her Get your words together. I haven't had a coffee yet, bear with me. I've scrubbed my skin on my face literally within an inch of its life, hence why it's looking pretty rosy, but she do be glowing though. We glowing. I would not use this tan on my face again, but once again, as I said at the beginning of the video, I don't use the actual self tan from the bottle on my face. I use these little drops that I really kindly got sent by Saint Marit, and I, you literally just mix a few in with your moisturizer and put it on your skin, and it works amazingly for me. I just find it doesn't like cling the way that normal bottle fake tan does to like any little blemishes or anything. However, I will say when I was putting on my moisturizer this morning, I was in natural daylight and I noticed I had absolutely no new breakouts, no new textures on my skin. So this fake tan doesn't break you out and if you've literally got perfect skin with not a single flaw, you could definitely go ahead and use it on your face unless your face is really sensitive. You guys get the gist. But in terms of the actual tan and the colour of the tan, I'm so, so, so happy with it. I think it is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Once again, I feel like I have to state this so many times because I do work with PLT. I am under absolutely no obligations to say anything, to feel anything about any of their products. Even when I am sponsored by them, I'm allowed to give totally 100% honest reviews. They're not controlling in that way. I was not sent this tan. I literally bought it with my own money or seven pounds six pounds i don't know i can't remember how much it cost of it it's really nice you guys can tell for yourself it's a really nice sort of natural color while still being dark it's not patchy um at all anywhere so if you guys want to test out this tan i would definitely give it a thumbs up once again i wear shade dark i will definitely be using this again i mean it's not too dissimilar from the tans i already use i really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up you can subscribe if you would like to 
see more of me on my channel if you've used this fake tan let me know what you think about it leave requests and comments in the comment section down below i've got all my social medias listed in the description box down below i love you all so very very much and i'll see you all very soon bye